Rachel Holt for Nesson.com alongside Ricky Doyle. And Ricky, I want to ask you about the Baseball Hall of Fame. This year, there's 34 candidates out there in the 2017 ballot. So two of the more controversial names, Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds. Of course, these two guys represent steroid use in Major League Baseball. In your opinion, do they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, the Hall of Fame voting is quite a uh, <laughs> polarizing topic, I guess you could say these days. But for me, I look at it and Bonds and Clemens absolutely should be in the Hall of Fame. I just, you know, I'm a big fan of the eyeball test. And I, you know, growing up watching these guys, they, to me, just jump off the page. First ballot Hall of Fame as they should have been. Uh, and I get it. I, you know, I understand the PED suspicions, but then you get it's a dicey situation. All of a sudden, you start to play the role of morality police. And what do I believe? And how do I know a guy that you know didn't come under scrutiny? It wasn't, an, you know, a subject of these suspicions. How do I know he wasn't doing steroids? I mean, for me to sit here and definitively say this guy did it, it impacted him this way, this and that. I mean, it's just a, it's a lot of things to kind of dive into. So I just like to take a step back. Eyeball test. Do I look at them and they were they playing with a Hall of Famers? I think so. Uh, and you could also make the case here if you want to say they started steroids at a certain point. I think a lot of people would agree that they were probably Hall of Famers before they used allegedly used steroids. So it's just a weird situation. But for me, I, I don't know. I just look at them and think Hall of Famer. Okay, if it was up to you, those two guys would be in it. But what about Tim Raines? This is his last year on the ballot. Does he deserve to be in there? See, I'm sure I'm going to take a lot of heat for this because there's so many uh, people out there from an analytical standpoint that want to put Reigns in the Hall of Fame, but I'm just not seeing it. Uh, and I, I mean, I don't know what it is. Again, this is kind of the eyeball test with me, but also I just, you know, dive a little deeper into the numbers. Uh, the home run totals weren't there. You know, didn't have, never had 200 hits in a season. RBI totals weren't there. Not, it just classic case of nice player. Uh, the Hall of very good, I guess you could say. But for me, it just falls a little short. All right, well, when the decision is made tomorrow, we'll be breaking it down, so make sure you keep it on Nesson.com.